There was once a sweet and happy little girl whose granny had made her a lovely red cape with a hood. The girl loved it so much that she wore it everywhere she went. Soon, everyone became so used to her wearing it that they named her Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, said her mother one morning. Granny is not feeling very well. Take her this basket of food and see if you can cheer her up. Little Red Riding Hood loved to visit her granny. So she took the basket of food and set off right away. Go straight to granny's house and don't talk to any strangers. Her mother called after her. Don't worry, sang Little Red Riding Hood as she went merrily on her way. Little Red Riding Hood skipped off through the woods. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping in the treetops, and she didn't have a care in the world. Very soon she met a wolf. Well, hello there, said the wolf in a silky low voice. And where are you off to on this vine? I'm going to visit my granny, replied Little Red Riding Hood, forgetting her mother's warning. She's not feeling well and I'm taking her this food to make her better. The wolf licked his lips. Where does your dear old granny live? Asked the wolf. She lives in a cottage at the other side of the woods, replied Little Red Riding Hood. It has pretty roses growing around the door. Is that so? Said the wolf. Why, it sounds lovely. There were some beautiful wildflowers growing in the woods and Little Red Riding Hood stopped to admire them. Wow! Why don't you pick a pretty bunch of flowers for your granny, suggested the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood thought that was a good idea and stopped to pick some. As she was busy choosing the prettiest flowers, the wolf strolled down the path. Honey rumbled loudly. At the end of the path, he saw a cottage with roses growing around the door, just as Little Red Riding Hood had said. Wolf knocked on the door. Come right in, my little darling, called the grandmother, thinking it was Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf walked into the cottage. The wolf walked into the cottage. Before the grandmother had a chance to call for help, the wicked creature opened his huge jaws and swallowed her whole. Then he climbed into her bed, pulled the covers up under his chin, and waited. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood reached her Grammy's house with a basket of food and a beautiful bunch of flowers. Oh, Granny, be pleased to see me. She thought she knocked on the door. I'm right in, my darling, replied the strange croaky voice. Poor Granny, that little red riding hood. She doesn't sound at all well. She went into Granny's bedroom and gasped in the sight. Granny, exclaimed little red riding hood, your ears are Absolutely enormous! All the better to hear you with, my dear, replied a low and silky voice. And your eyes! Eyes are as big as saucers, gulped Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, my dear, replied a rumbling, growling voice. And your teeth are so pointed, gasped Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, my dear. And gobbled up Little Red Riding Hood. My tummy's full. I'm too full. I'm going to bed. A woodcutter was working nearby and he heard some very loud growling, snoring sounds coming from the little cottage. I don't like the sound of that, thought with his axe at 
happened nearby, he crept into the grandmother's house, tiptoed into the bedroom, and found the wolf fast asleep with his tummy bulging fit to burst. You wicked old wolf, cried the woodcutter. What have you done? He tipped the wolf upside down and shook him as hard as he could. Out fell a very dazed little red riding hood, followed by her poor old granny. It was so dark in there, cried the little girl. Thank you for saving us. But little red riding hood's granny was furious. She chased the wolf out of her bedroom, through the cottage, out into the woods. And the wolf never returned. And Little Red Riding Hood never spoke to strangers ever again. The end! Good morning, Papa and George. Today, you will not be going to school. In fact, you'll be staying at home today. Me and Daddy Pig saw something in the news. And it's called the coronavirus. So we have been told that you must stay home just until the coronavirus is gone. Really, Mommy Pig? Yes, Papa, and George, you too. So we want you to be safe, okay? Very well then, Mummy. Dinosaur! Papa, where is George? Mummy Pig, George went up to the playground. Oh no! Oh no! Papa, can you please call George? We've got to make sure he doesn't go to the playground. It's very dangerous, you know. There's a virus, so he must stay home. Oh no, Mummy Pig, I will go get him now. Dinosaur! I love the playground. George, George, come home. Come home right now. You're not supposed to be at the playground. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig has called us that I want to play. Okay, George, we have to go home right now. I don't want to go. Where are they? Oh, I'm so glad. Peppa and George are home, Daddy Pig. Oh, good. Oh, Peppa and George, I'm so happy that you're safe. Thank you, Mummy Pig. So from now on, Peppa and George, we will have to stay at home just until the coronavirus is gone. Until then, what do you say that we have fun at home and have a barbecue? That sounds fantastic, Mummy Pig. Dinosaur. All right. Peppa and George, I want you to know every time you go outside, you must clean your hands. It's very important to keep the coronavirus away. Okay, Mummy Pig, dinosaur! And you remember the song, right? To wash your hands. Yes, I do, Mummy Pig, dinosaur! Okay, very well then. Go and wash your hands. <laughs> Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, swabbly, swabbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is a beautiful day, especially taking time to be with family. Oh, Mummy Pig, look at us, we are bicycling, this is a wonderful day. Dinosaur! Yes, Mummy Pig, you told us to be here. Dinosaur! Yes, Papa and George, I noticed your friends are here. You've got to make sure that they go home. Why, Mummy Pig? Because we cannot be around, but we must keep our distance. Just for now, but so you don't get the coronavirus. Okay, Mummy Pig. Okay, everyone, you must stay away. The coronavirus is very dangerous, so you must go home. Oh, no, that is fine. I will talk to you on the boat. I don't want to catch the virus. Ring, 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 ring. <gasps> it's my friend, Mommy. Hello. Hey, how are you? What are you doing? Oh, I've been watching a lot of TV. Me too. It's quite fun. Well, I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Bye for now. All right, everyone. Remember to be at home, be safe, and have social distance. That means you stay at home and you can call your friends instead of seeing them in person. All right. Be safe, everyone. Bye for now. Subscribe, like, and share our videos.